Hello, good afternoon. When people think of a radio station, they think of the DJs, and they should. There are stars, they're the bright, shiny racehorses that bring the crowds. But as a general manager, I think a lot of the people behind the scenes as well. I think about our engineer who, with a brand new baby, gets paged at 3 a.m. because we just went off the air. Or uh, of our traffic director who, um, because an AE didn't turn in their copy in time, are there until 8 o'clock on a Friday night. Or to our controller who is constantly facing unrealistic cor corporate expectations on cost cutting. Um, these are our everyday heroes. And I'm honored to be able to present this award today. I'd like to applaud Rowdy and the directors of the Texas Radio Hall of Fame for making this happen. Um, if this is a really neat thing. So thank you very much for doing that. So I will now put on my cheaters and introduce the first behind the scenes inductee. Patty Rogers arrived at KIKK Radio in Pasadena when FM signals were just filling up the airspace. And a 250 watt day timer at 650 on the dial was the dominant country force in Houston. She made a career of it, enduring management, ownership, and studio locations too numerous to count. She served as executive, executive secretary to some of the absolute best and brightest in Texas radio, including Leroy Gloger, Al Greenfield, Nick Tregoni, Craig McGee, Dickie Rosenfeld, Owen Weber, Laura Morris, and Brian Purdy. I was fortunate to be in the chair for five years and get to work with her prior to her retirement in 2014. I named her the queen because, who's kidding, she was really the boss of the joint. We miss her every day. She made such a, such a significant impact on literally hundreds of broadcasting professionals who have cast their votes, guaranteeing her induction into this special category. Ladies and gentlemen, the queen, Patty Rogers. as if this wasn't going to be hard enough. Thank you, Sarah. <clears throat> I am so honored and equally shocked to be receiving this award. Radio has been a huge part of my life. I've worked with so many wonderful people. Josh is like one of my kids. And one of my very favorite people in the world happens to have been my boss when I retired and is here for me. Sarah, thank you for everything. Thank you to everyone at my table who came to celebrate with me. I had to choose today whether to be here or attend my 50th high school reunion, but I knew without a doubt being in a room full of radio people would be a whole lot more fun. <laughs> thank you. 